What's up YouTube and welcome to another draw along with me. Now today we're going to go ahead and create this really cool Lego effect with any photo of your choice. Now today there's no canvas size and there's no palette. Today we're just going to go ahead and use any photo of your choice just to create this Lego effect. And the one thing you are going to need is the Procreate canvas that's in the description down below. Now in there will be the Lego texture for this to come off correctly. So once you've downloaded that you're going to need to grab any photo of your choice and I'll show you how to go about using that. And in this tutorial I use Safari for Photo P. So the process may change if you use Chrome but if you can use Safari it will match up perfectly to today's design. So have some fun with it and be sure to share your designs with me over on Instagram when you're done. There's a link to all my socials in the description down below. So with all that said, let's get started. So once you've downloaded the canvas for today's design, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the layers. Now we've got a Lego texture and then a tap me then paste. Now we're going to deal with this empty layer later on, but for now we've just got the texture at the top. Now step two after getting the Procreate canvas is to go ahead and add in the photo. Now you can use any photo you like. It can be a photograph, it can be a design that you've created in Procreate, it can be anything you want, but it just has to fit the right specification, which is 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And this canvas is exactly that. So we can use it as a cropping guide. So if we zoom out of this a second, I'm gonna go up to my actions. I'm gonna tap insert photo. Once you've found the photo that you want, which I'm gonna use Charlie, my border collie as today's subject, we're gonna drop that photo in there and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out enough that I can scale him up. So nice and big and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit even further. I wanna make sure he's nice and big so that the details are not gonna be lost in his face when we go ahead and add the effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But all you wanna do is then take a look at your image that you're gonna use for today. And now it's gonna be cropped to 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. We're gonna get rid of all that excess around the outside. So once you've done that, go up to your actions, go to share, tap on JPEG, and then go ahead and save the image here to your photos. Now we can go ahead and go to Safari. So we're gonna swipe up from the bottom and I've got Safari open here on the right hand side and we're gonna to go to the link that's in the description down below. Now this website is called PhotoP. PhotoP is essentially Photoshop in your browser and it's like the full suite of all the features. We're only gonna use it for a little bit today so don't be worried too much and I'll guide you through obviously all the steps. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is tap on open from computer and we're gonna use the option here of photo library. We're gonna find the photograph of Charlie that I've got here in the top left. I'm gonna tap on that and hit the option of add. And that will then load that photograph in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and go up to filter. We're gonna to go to pixelate and we're gonna use mosaic. Now this will change our image into a more tile look. So then we can go ahead and drag this cell slide and this is really important that we drop it on 40. Anything more or less is not gonna line up with the Lego texture that I've created. So once you've hit 40 pixels there, hit okay. And of course the image there has changed. And now we can go ahead and take the image out. So we're gonna go up to file, export as, and then go to JPEG. You'll get this pop-up menu and it will just ask you what quality you want it. You can set it to 100% here at the bottom and then hit the option here of save. Once you do that, Safari will ask you if you wanna download the image, just hit download and it will go up into this little icon here at the top. And then all we wanna do is go to our downloads and find that image. So tap on the picture. We're then gonna to go to share. And then we're gonna to go to this option here of copy. If we then swipe up on our dock and go back to procreate, we've got the photo that we initially had. We can go up to our layers. We can swipe back to the left and delete it. Now we can interact with this layer that says tap me then paste. So we're gonna tap on that layer. And as before, we're gonna swipe down with three fingers. We're gonna hit paste. And then we're gonna tap on our cursor when we're done. And the Lego effect will then nicely match up to all of those mosaic tiles. And you have the Lego effect for today's design. And if I zoom in, you can see all of those really cool little tiles in there and it all matches up nicely. And that's it. We can go full screen with four fingers and you've got today's finished design. So have some fun with this, with the different images that you can use and be sure to show me what you come up with over on Instagram. There's a link to all my socials in the description down below. And if you can drop a like on the video, that would help me out a bunch. And if you're new here, I post Procreate content every single week. So hit that subscribe button down below. As always, a massive shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. I'll throw their names up on the screen now. If you've not heard of my Patreon, I post exclusive tutorials there every single month. 
only for Patreon supporters. I'll throw up the latest three on the screen now. And Patreon supporters also get early access to videos, sneak peeks of designs, merch, and much, much more. So come on over to my Patreon. There's a link in the description down below. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I'm using, which is the Sketchboard Pro that you can use code JOELCREATE to get 10% off, or a paper light screen cover, or the pen tips, grip, and glove, there's links to all my equipment in the description. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next one.